Greetings, hello, and thanks for watching whenever you watch. So, this is a pickup of decoding the Bible and decoding a lot of the secrets that have been kept from the peoples, but not completely kept from the peoples. So, one of the things I wanted to touch on today, one is um, a recent development that aligns with the cosmic um, astrological energies and it is it is something that wasn't known in a spiritual aspect that has been discovered and is going to propel the feminine into full force so we're going to begin with the bible Right? or the civil I actually purposely changed the words the lettering on this because let's get real everything was written by the mother great mother and by women there's tons of proof of this um especially the hieroglyphs in egypt so one of the things that's gonna uh, i'm gonna try to divert myself from saying that constantly a thing that's gonna come out is that certain certain writings and certain documents aren't going to be able to be deciphered unless a woman is brought into it period because the writings are originally by women and they were actually coded in a in a tone so to speak that is specifically feminine and unless the masculine is at that point then it's not going to be able to be deciphered and cipher is actually another name for a sibyl. Um, there's tons of hints and everything. So one of the things that, um, is kind of mentioned in this book, if you have a chance to get this book and I know she has other books that help bring, uh, awareness to what's happened to the feminine divine. Um, what's, I haven't, I will admit, I haven't, I've read this book, but I haven't done exceptional reading because what I've been guided to do is tap in from what I've learned and also into that inner, that inner place of the messages from the divine mother. Okay. So one of the stories in the civil book that I just showed you is that there is a prophetess, a, um, goddess that um her name is kume 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 uh which is where actually kumeic comes from the writing she had nine books and offered them to a king whose name i keep forgetting for some reason um and he turned her down for the price she was asking and so she went home and she burned three of the books and then came back with six books and offered the six books for the same price. And he turned her down again. And then she went back with the three books, which she went home and burned three more books. She went back with the three books, offering the three books for the original price. And he bought them in so many ways. I think these books have been, um, kind of, pieced out and then reassembled in certain writings, the Bible being one of them or the civil, the books of the Bible, you see the books of the Bible, right? And so I actually think the alphabetical order of the Bible, AKA civil is more in order of the truth and of, um, the original writings. Okay. So in this one of, uh, in this today, I've already done some deciphering in Genesis. This is, these are a few very important things, how we were created. Okay. Um, uh, the gene of Isis is the idea the beginnings of time. Time is, time is a universe. Really? It's a, a place for learning time gives gives the opportunity of learning so here in genesis verse three 
Then God said, let us make man. I've done my own rewriting. Okay. Um, man in our image and our likeness and let them rule over the fish in the sea and the birds of the air and over the livestock and over the earth and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So snakes and all those things have already been created, already been created. God bless them. May they be fruitful and prosper and it tells us how to eat that we're actually supposed to only eat, um, seeds and fruits and that the beasts and the birds of the air and everything is for us to uh, take care of. I give every green plant for food, right? It literally tells us what to do. Um, God said they had made it and very good. And there was Eve, evening, and there was morning. So there were already these names that were created the sixth day. And then I feel like this is very masculine. And on the seventh day, he rested. Well, God is omnipresent and always constantly creating there's really no need for rest. So I believe this is a very patriarchal additive to the story. Um, and does actually go back to original magic. But then it goes into Adam and Eve and starts the story all over. This is the account of the beginning of heaven and earth. And it talks about being in the garden. And so mother wouldn't put us in a garden and say you can eat everything but this one tree. Also, the conundrums that are in here, which are that once Eve had eaten the apple, and the story is the serpent came and told her to eat the apple, and that um, and that man came from woman, but also in the little hints down here, it says that the Hebrew, uh, let's see, the Hebrew for woman sounds like the Hebrew for man. So realistically, it could be that it's been reversed, right? <clears throat> so, uh, when God finds out that they had eaten, eaten the apple, God curses Eve, right? Curse you above all the livestock, all the wild animals who crawl on your belly. You must eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put an enmity between you and the dash woman. You know, what is that? the dash woman um i think maybe it's true or the goddess you know something along the lines of the truth and between your offspring and hers hers he will crush your head and you will strike his head so i feel like that's a big hint is that um these are <sighs> these are mm, these are hints you know, it switches. He, you know, she will forget her children between women and between your offspring and hers. What is that? What's that about? Right? I would put, hmm, he will crush your head and you will strike his head uh, or strike. You will strike your head and you will strike his head. And then to the man, he's cursed to working forever. <laughs> but she's cursed beneath like all walking, all beings on the planet. So there's these hints. Okay. Um, also in there, it talks about how making sure that Adam and Eve get kicked out of the garden so that they don't reach out to the hand of everlasting life you know, immortality. Well, if they've just eaten the apple of knowledge, which they say makes Adam and Eve like them, then wouldn't they already know how to do it? Wouldn't that knowledge come with it? There's so many ironies. And um, I think it's because the story has been purposely, you know, manipulated. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around, I think... Yeah. Oh, I can't. Can I? No, I can't. All right. So the main message that's come through of late is that there is a partial truth. So in, in 
the messages and just basic, you know, uh, sharing and other people sharing their knowledge that the great goddess is coming back and the great feminine divine. And we know the stories of the triple goddess and we know the story of the, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity. And we've heard the stories about Marduk and Enlil and Enki, even though those stories have been manipulated as well to suit the patriarchal and misogynistic ways of the world, which help contribute to so many illnesses, so to speak, so much disharmony. So one of the major messages, two major messages that have come through, and some know this already, is that Marduk in his um kind of jealousy uh it was after his travels but his jealousy of the feminine honoring and the feminine power and he wanted that creative power it's kind of like reminds me of the story of moana he wanted that feminine power and in order to get it it needed to be the life of his mother and the life of his wife and what most people also know is that Eve is the daughter of patriarchy. Um, that she, the story is that, um, and it, and it's correct. So in part of the patriarchal world and what Marduk was creating, which was the war in the heavens, the actual war, war in the heavens, not the chaotic creation, not some of us mistake for war in the heavens, but Marduk actually, tricked the planets and beings therein to um take the essence or life of of tiamat or um abzu his mother the mother of all the mother the daughter of all creation the where what we call the abyss and um is also considered the great dragon and um also the great serpent and so in this, he, he succeeded by tricking people and tricking these other beings. Um, but she's not completely dead. Otherwise we wouldn't be here. So the other piece of that story is that in trying to solidify these, these, um, planets and beings to his side, he offered the marriage of his daughter. And he offered the marriage of his daughter Lilith and she was not having it. She already, she had her own deal going on. Um, that, that, that's a whole nother story. And also these children were aware, uh, Lilith had a, a sister and the twins, the two daughters were fully aware of what Marduk was planning and had, um, pre-planned futuristic things as well. So after taking the life of his mother, he needed the life of his wife as well in order to create. And through their energies, <clears throat> he created Eve, meaning alive or living life. This is where actually, oh my goodness, Frankenstein comes from. Um, not that she was made from fake body parts, but she was made from the death of, of other beings. And this is where we are alluded to that God, our father is a creator. Yes. Um, those creation powers were stolen and through that was created Eve and her complete devotedness to her father and his his plans and she believed that he had um not only the rights because he he was born with the rights but he had the right idea about how to heal the cosmos kind of like it reminds me of like chronos the idea of wiping out everything in order to bring order whereas in truth, order is in uh, the original vibrations of the creating planets, which are from the great mind of the mother. And so how we are the Sybils were ultimately destroyed is because 
one of the major sibyls, which was Eve, was able to usurp. If everything goes back to the mother, everything goes back to the mother. So even our demise is part of our own doing, whether or not we want to fully admit that or not. And it came through the guise of trading and uh, technology stepping away from the original magic and the original truth. And uh, in the beginnings and all the way up until recently, and this is the new information, all the way up until recently, uh, Eve has been strong holding um, the true essence of feminine divinity because of her basic Stockholm syndrome to her father, basically wanting to impress him so much or keep his love or feel belonged or feel loved so much to continue his idea of what is okay. And so one of the things that has happened is there was some confusion even within the ground as to how Eve came about and how she came about to be so anti her sisters um, and anti her own mother and her own mothers, her grandmother. Well, she didn't know them and was told things about them. And her sisters had already left slash been kicked out of heaven, so to speak, or from Marduk, from that place, because they knew the truth. And so they had to leave. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, is, is basically the story, in order to continue the knowledge and the hope for healing for the cosmos. And so the big hope is, and it matches with the uh, astrological times, Eve has recently herself figured out that she was created specifically as a tool for hatred, specifically as a tool to be separated from her sisters, specifically as a tool of separation from the three goddesses, which would be Eve, Lilith, and, um, and put, or as, as many have called Inanna, yet Inanna is related to Lilith. And Anput is basically what has been called Anubis or Thoth. And Thoth and Anubis, Anubis is before Thoth and Anubis is one of Thoth's teachers. And so um, to say that Thoth create, wrote, created writing and created scribing is not true because he learned these things from his mother. And also, these things were passed down to daughters, not to sons. They were passed down to daughters. And these are, these are all the stories that have been manipulated by religion, mankind, even our own selves, uh, including the daughters of patriarchy who fully believed in the power and love of this masculine deity that originated from Marduk because he did create children but he did not give birth to them and this is where the cognitive dissonance is able to really take hold and has perpetuated for millennia however the download that i got from eve this morning is <laughs> daughters of eve have been deceived notice how the word eve is in deceived Heart cleaved, message received. Now returned three sisters of all, triple goddess, now dissolved this misogyny realm. To roam, O oh, gender of lies, first will be water to wash the veil. And veil, spelled backwards, is the beginning of Leviathan. L-I-E-V-I, -E right? <laughs> uh, first will be water to wash the veil then fire to burn the gates um, this is relating to the information that is within the library of Rome 
then a shake of earth, Ren, to surface the true temples. There are temples to the goddess beneath Rome, tons of temples beneath Rome. Then the winds of time to replenish her truce, meaning the words and the whispers or even the scripts and the writings of the sibyls are going to surface. And Eve now rejects and severs any ties to misogyny or patriarchy. O oh, daughters, do hear, see, dream the truth. He is not your friend, your true God, or comes from love. He, he who knows is bound to truth and honor and reverence to the great cosmic mother. This is in that um, the daughters that have been fooled into believing that they are protected by this male god who cursed them to their bellies is being encouraged to see this. And actually, um, Adam is punished for listening to his, his wife. It's actually the punishment for listening to his wife and eating the apple. And so these are things where Eve, you know, was all up for it, but now she's like, wait a minute. And, um, I know that this is, gonna... <laughs> oh, well, you know, this was the message, um, because love does not trick you and love does not condemn you for your innocence and love does not punish you for those who have harmed you in that if you are a woman and you have been sexually or any other way abused by a man by no means um does the true creator condone that on any level um, because then it spreads to children and we know what happens then and that's actually what a lot of this is dealing with and this is why Eve is stepping in because in order for us to end um, this great lie you know the mother of the lie also has to step in and, and start correcting it and it's not that that was the intention that's what happened and so this is in alignment with the skylines and um, um, the astrological lineup. And this is the resurfacing of just deep, deep changes, uh, new ways of looking at things and inner and overstanding that the beginnings are of a great dark cosmic mother. Have a great day.